The story will continue in a moment. It's a pleasure sitting down with you, former President Trump. It's good to be with you. Are you ready for some tough questions? Just be fair, okay? I'm going to be fair. Are you sure? Would you ask Biden tough questions? I don't think so. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Meatball Ron. Are you at all afraid of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis winning the primary election? <laughs> I mean, you're asking me if I would be afraid of a meatball. If you want to know the truth, I'm not scared of Ron DeSantis. That's what I call him. A lot of people are saying it. If you look at the numbers, but uh, not at all. Okay, believe me. Would you ever consider Elon Musk as a running mate for your 2024 campaign? I like him. I like Elon. He said some nice things, and I've said nice things back, right? We call it nice things back. You know, he's got the, they call it ass burgers, right? Have you heard of this? He's got the burgers. Uh, my sister, yeah. My sister has that. I'm sorry to hear, or perhaps I'm happy to hear. I don't know. Different people think different things about the burgers with the ass. But look, uh, I like him, and we're looking into it. We're looking into it very strongly, that I can tell you. Why did North Korean communist leader Kim Jong-un take such a liking to you when he's never spoken to any president before? Well, look, when it comes to Kim jong he felt disrespected, okay, by a lot of people. You look at George Bush, it could be Clinton as another beauty. You look at Hussein Obama, and he felt disrespected. But uh, I, you know, I told him, you know, you're not fat. You look good. You look slim. And he said, wow, no one's ever told me that. And I said some words on Twitter, but when we met, I said, you're so handsome, and uh, we love your country. I love the food. You look at the General Chows and all the things happening. And really, that's what it was. We call it flattery, and it goes very far. And we did great flattery with Un Kim Jong, and uh, frankly, it was tremendous, okay? Believe me, and you know that. Fake news, unbelievable. You've had a lot of great endorsements over the years. Tremendous. Um, can you tell us which was your favorite um, dictator? Ooh, that's a tough one. I liked uh, there was a guy in uh, we call Zimbabwe. I like how they wear the lion's head over. You know, they have the leather. A lot of people in this country, they don't like leather. They throw paint like on leather. people. They throw like paint. Leather. You like leather. See, that's good. Yeah. And that's good. I like in Africa. They have the, and I have a tremendous, by the way, relationship with the African Americans, if you look at the unemployment, but the African leaders, and they're leading very strongly. They have like a, like a lion head on their chest. And that's something I said to my people. I said, why don't I have a lion's head? We need to have lion's head here. So I would say the leader, I think, Katembe Matumbo over in uh, Zimbabwe, he was tremendous, that I can tell you. Putin's good too. Putin, we like Putin. He's doing good. Eminem in 2017 rapped, What we got in office now is a kamikaze. That will probably cause a nuclear holocaust. Your response? Well, if you look at Eminem, back in the early 2000s, he was hot, right? Everybody was listening to the kids. But now the numbers are down. No one's buying his records. And uh, really, I, the last I heard, I heard he was perhaps cutting himself like a teenage girl or something. He's not doing so good. That I could tell you. I like the candy, though. The candy's good. We like it. What about teenage girls? I heard DeSanctimonious Meatball Ron's into those, if you look into it, but not me. Hypothetically speaking, if you were to sleep with adult star Stormy Daniels, hypothetically, what position would you be in? Well, I call her horse face, as you know. If you look at her face, it's very horse-like. I didn't sleep with Stormy, but let's say hypothetically, right? We call it hypothetical, right? Hypothetical. Right, hypothetical. Let's say I did. I would say, of course, due to the horse face, I would. I believe they call it doggy, right? They call it doggy, my people, but they know. Doggy, I've seen doggy it Doggy style, so I wouldn't have to look at the horse face, okay? You're known for your catchphrase, make America great again. Sure, the best. Can you tell me which year you think America was the greatest and why it was before women's suffrage? That's good. It's a good art of the deal there. He He's leading me. I wouldn't say before. I would say, uh, that's a good, that's it, that's it. This guy's making me think. He's making me work. And I think, nobody thinks like I think. I've got a big, beautiful brain. I have the largest, most tremendous brain people have ever seen. I would say, 
America was last great uh, when, uh, I would say when Boy Meets World was on. What are your thoughts on Joe Biden's America thus far? Well, Joe doesn't even know he's alive, okay? He doesn't know he's alive. He wakes up in the morning. He drinks his breakfast. I eat my breakfast. I have a fork. I have a knife. Salad foods. His wife has to put it in blender. You've heard about this? Blender. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of blending happening in that White House, that I could tell you. But uh, I would say we're in hell. If you look at New York, it used to be so great. Lived there my whole life. I'm in Florida. Tremendous. But the Hudson River... You know, people, especially Chinese people, would go fish. Now there's no more fishing. It's filled with fentanyl. The Hudson River, the fish are get the got the dead. Fentanyl and homeless people crapping in the streets. It's not good. If you look at the numbers, it's not good. We're gonna get back. We're gonna change it. We're gonna change it very strongly, okay? That I could tell you. What is your message to Americans who are concerned about the rapid rising prices? Well, I think the last I heard, eggs, right? You remember eggs? I like eggs. I haven't had eggs in a while. Well, I, like I, well, I have them, but the average American eggs are like, I think, what, $5,000 for a carton of eggs? It's it's not good. It's not good at all. It's very, we're going we're gonna to change it. We're going to change it so struggling. I'm going to talk to the egg people. I'm going to say, you gotta, I'm going to look them right in the eye, yep. lower the price, and they'll do it. Okay. They'll do it. Okay, I have, we call it sway. I have that sway. Sleepy Joe doesn't have that sway. Large brown eggs or large white eggs? All sorts of eggs, all sorts of eggs. I like ostrich, actually, but they're not, they're, they're are very expensive. Those have always been expensive, and the price is not going down. That I could tell you. Big leak. Where do you buy your hair? You know, what is this? What, what do I buy my hair? I tell the people, this is my hair. This is my hair. I want to know where Sleepy Joe gets his hair. See, they did ping, bong, boom. They call it surgery, transplant. I never got a transplant. I use what I get. Yeah, there's a little mixing and bing, bong, boom. But it's my hair, okay? And it's my hair very, very strongly, okay? Ask Stormy like it, Daniels. She could tell you, okay? <laughs> Hypothetically, she right, could tell you. Right. She likes to pull. She likes to scratch. Hypothetically. Hypothetic. Hypothetically. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very hypothetically. Unbelievably hypothetically, okay? Okay. If you need the bill and you're trying to let your waitress know from across the restaurant, how exactly do you gesture that? Well, I would say this. I think this is he's trying to do gotcha, right? We call it gotcha question, locker room talk, grab him by the whatever. But I would say very, very sweetly, very kindly, very because I have a tremendous with women. Nobody respects women. Like I respect women, including my daughter, Ivanka. I have tremendous respect. Unbelievable. You wouldn't even believe the respect between the two of us, what happens behind closed doors, starting from very young. But I would say, right here, things have changed in the 80s. I'd say, hey, toots. Hey, sweetheart. But now you got to be politically correct. So I'll say, hello. I'll read the name tag. Hello, Lisa. And she'll come over and we'll do a tremendous deal. I'll leave a very big tip. That I can tell you. I've got a huge tip. Unbelievable. Multiple choice. Sure. How to prevent school shootings. A. Less bad guys with guns. B. More good guys with guns. Or C. School summer breaks that begin August 10th and extends to August 9th of the following year. Well, frankly, I think you get rid of school. Because if there's no school, there's no school shooting. So I would say very quickly, and I'd do it so fast, your head will spin, I'll say, no more school. I'm right there with you. Yeah. That makes sense. There you go. Come here. Come here. Boom, right? You know, I Let wasn't that sure. Barren. Okay, the boom. Yeah. It's very good. I wasn't sure uh, if I was going to connect with you in this interview. I've, we've never met before. and uh, I'm not gay. Occasionally, when I'm sleeping with Melania, maybe something will pop in my head for three seconds, and I'll say, go away, thought. Go away. And uh, that's sort of how I've lived my life thus far, and it's worked. It's worked very strongly, okay? Look at that guy. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, multiple choice. Another multiple. Look at this one with the multiple choice. Something else. 
What is your favorite type of wall? A, Great Wall of China. B, Border Wall. C, Pink Floyd's The Wall. D, none, you prefer fences. Well, I'd have to say border wall. And we did a tremendous with keeping out the rapists and the murderers. And then today I got convicted. They say rape. I think it was payback. But because uh, they were not happy with the rapes that I kept out. So I'd say my wall. Very strongly. I would say, see, Pink Floyd's the wall. You know, It's a good one, too. I think the, a lot of kids who are into the molly like that one are the drugs. But I was never, you know. You've never dabbled? Yeah. Never dabbled. I like water. It's my only good trait. I say it's my own. Could you imagine me drunk? It'd be unbelievable. It'd be unbelievable. Multiple choice. Sure. If you could use one word to describe your campaign for the 2024 election, would that word be A, huge, B, bigly, or C, fake news? That's That's two words. That's two words. You see that? Hey, I'm not going to be honest. This has happened a couple of times. Yeah. I really need you to stop doing this. Can I? Can we fix it? Can You're I? fired. You're fired. My kids? No. I don't care about your kids. You're fired. But they're your kids. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk. Unbelievable. The Sorry, young lady partner. walked away in tears, right? right? They're going to edit that out. They're going to edit it out. They're going to make him look like the hero and I'm the bad guy. They're going to digitally put my face over there and they're going to say, he fired the young lady. But it's it's so sad. But I would say to answer your question, I would say all of the above, okay? All okay. of the above. Huge, bigly, tremendous, bigger than anyone's ever seen for that matter. And uh, frankly, we're going to win so big, okay? That I can tell you. Former President Trump, I really appreciate you stopping by and uh, doing this interview with 60 Minutes. Thank you. Well, thank you. Come here. Yep. Come here. Love, we love this guy. So struggling. Wow. Strong guy. Great handshake. So many deals. So struggling. Look at you. Wow. Unbelievable. He's learning. That's great. Okay.